Hey everybody, and welcome back to Plus Ultra Pitching. Last week, we talked about how to keep your arm nice and long and loose throughout your delivery. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to properly position your body within a full motion pitch to help support that nice, long, loose delivery of the softball. So if you haven't checked that video out, I'd recommend to go back and check it. And today, we're gonna to talk mostly about staying nice and tall when you reach that power K position. I've noticed a lot of my pitchers, once they start pitching, even if they keep their arm really loose, they start hinging at the hips to try to get that ball forward so their chest is ending up over their toes or they're bending their knee and almost doing a lunge when they're pitching. So even though their head is staying back, their front knee is starting to collapse. Both of those are going to really take away from your command as a pitcher and having that nice consistent wrist snap. It's also gonna take away a lot of speed as a pitcher. So today, the two drills I'm gonna give you are gonna help you get in that nice, tall, stacked body positioning. Now, when I say nice and tall and stacked, what I'm talking about is making sure when you land in your power K position, you have this strong diagonal line. For me, I'm a righty, so for lefties, just uh, flip the leg that is in front. My left leg is in front as a righty pitcher. So you want a nice straight diagonal line from your left ankle all the way up and through your left shoulder, right? So I'm not bending out my knee here. I'm not hinging out my hips. I'm just staying nice and tall. And when I have my pitchers pause in this position, I have them imagine like a puppet string on their head and they're standing as tall as they possibly can. This is gonna be a nice strong power K position so you can have a consistent wrist snap timing and also get the, generate the most power from your motion. One of the first drills I have my pitchers do, they don't even need a glove, but I have them use a resistance band over here. And I've got mine tied to a pole. You can have someone hold this for you out in front. You can also tie it to a pole. You're gonna put it around your hips and you're gonna just practice holding this power K position, but staying nice and tall and stacked. So you. You wanna focus on having this nice diagonal straight line from your left ankle up to your left shoulder. And you can practice doing some wrist, uh, some arm circles with this motion. Things you don't wanna do here. Hinge at the hips, right? You don't wanna be hinging at the knee. Try to keep this front leg strong and straight. Other things that I am not looking for is for your weight to be too far back. We don't pitch with our weight on our back foot. We want it nice even over the middle part of our body. So grab a resistance band, grab a yoga strap, a belt, anything you can find that you can put around your waist. You can have someone hold it in front of you and try to tug to feel if your power K position is strong. They should not be able to pull you over from in front if your power K posi position is strong. Had to get out of that. Now let's talk about the drill that we can do when you're actually practicing your pitching. <clears throat> so one of my favorite drills to have my pitchers do is to actually freeze in their power K position from a full motion pitch. So they're gonna get loaded up in their load position what happens is they're in a nice athletic stance. Imagine you are about to take off on a race or if you ever see track runners in the Olympics, you're looking for that kind of starting position with your feet. For righties, your right foot is in front of your left. Lefties, your left foot is in front of your right. Chest over your toes on the ball of your feet. And then I have my pitchers reach and explode out and practice opening up and staying really tall in this power K. What I look for in this position is to make sure they are landing with their leg nice and strong and straight and having a straight line from their ankle to their shoulder. So essentially what's happening is they go from this position with chest down and they reach forward and land with their chest up. And then when I say fire, they can then fire from this position, focusing on keeping their chest tall. So I'd say fire, and they'd keep their chest tall throughout that pitch. So they would load, and then they would track and pause, staying nice and tall. I'd say fire, 
and fire straight forward. This pause position really gives pitchers the chance to adjust themselves. So this is what I sometimes see happen in this drill. Pitchers will sometimes be way over their front foot, right? So in this case, what I would do to correct it is have them take their chest over their front foot back so it's tracking right over their belly button to get that strong power K position. Another thing I often see is track or load track where the front knee is super bent. The back leg is really straight. I have them reverse this so we straighten the front leg, bend the back leg, so we come out of this lunge position to have a strong straight front side and then they can fire. Just so you guys can see it one more time the way we want it to be seen. We start in that low position, toes forward, chest over our toes. We explode out, pause in our power K with our chest nice and tall, staying as our body as tall as possible, a nice straight line from my ankle to my shoulder. And then I say fire and you can fire it to the catcher. So those are two of the best drills that have really helped my pitchers recently maintain that strong power K position. I really hope it helps you too. Um, this is it for before our summer break. So even though I won't be posting actively in the month of August, please continue to put comments and questions into the comment section because I'm gonna try to get to them and answer your questions as they come up. And I'll be back in September with some really good content for you guys. As always, please subscribe to my, my channel. I'll be back in a month. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys then. And please ultra!